So I have a problem. I tend to accumulate stuff. Now, sometimes that stuff is tools, sometimes that stuff is old pallets, and sometimes that is metal roofing that may or may not have been in a windstorm and be crinkled up and torn all to pieces. Now, we're not too picky around here. If it can be salvaged, if it can be reused, we're going to find some place to put it to work. In the meantime, though, the only thing I hate more than mowing around stuff in the yard is weed eating around it. So we're going to, I don't know, take a few, uh, few of these different things, combine them together, try and make something useful in the meantime, and we'll see what else we can get done. This right here is the metal roofing in question, and as you can see, it's certainly uh, certainly imperfect. It's a little worse for the wear. I had a friend of mine who posted on Facebook, he was trying to get rid of it, uh, contemplating hauling off to the scrapyard, but if anybody wanted to do something with it, you know, hey, come get it. And of course I chimed in and said, me, 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 we can do something with it. And we've got a couple ideas we're kicking around, uh, maybe a run-in goat shelter for out in the field. Um, I don't know, maybe another chicken tractor or pieces of a chicken tractor. The chicken tractor that we built before Man, we the, the roofing on it was rusted, it was full of holes, it had been used, uh, half of it had been buried for a long time. But we're not too picky if we can find a way to make it work. Free is free, after all. There are certainly occasions when it's appropriate to buy new stuff or, or buy, you know, like buy used stuff that's not in terrible shape. But for a lot of the things that we do around here, there's no reason to buy brand new top-notch stuff for, you know, if it's just going to live in the field and it's not a barn or a workshop or something that needs to really keep things out of the weather there's no reason to have you know like brand new stuff but where these metal panels are right now is not going to work it's cutting off half of my shop it's a hazard uh you know lying on the ground for one it's susceptible to rust and moisture things that uh you know could damage it it's also susceptible to things like snakes living underneath it and we're always playing back here Our kids have been working on batting practice for a while back here you don't need them playing around uh, barefoot, sharp metal roofing, snakes, that's not going to work. So my plan today is to take some of these pallets and we're going to build a couple of pallet, uh, not pallet wood, but made just completely out of pallets, firewood racks. And we're going to stack the metal roofing panels on top of that. For one, it'll get me somewhere in front of my shop where I have some firewood stacked up, uh, still in the rounds. It is, it's a mess up there. I need to bust it and I can't mow it. It's an eyesore in the front of my house. I don't like that. I'm not particularly proud of that, but we're gonna move it over here. We're gonna stack it up here on the wall. Slap these together pretty quick. I think I know how I can do this without, I don't know, let's say minimal effort and uh, minimal materials as well. So kind of like with some of that metal roofing, pallets are something that we just kind of accumulate. We've used them for woodworking projects. We've used them to store hay bales on. We, we just find different ways to put them to use around here. I've sorted through the pile and I've picked out a few that are gonna work really well for this. I, the main thing on the sides is you've gotta have the tops of them even and I'll show you what that looks like. But for now, let's go ahead and start building. Last thing I'm gonna do to brace this on the back, I'm gonna scrap piece of OSB. This is left over from our chicken brooder project. We're just gonna anchor this in along the top of these uh, boards here. I'm not worried about putting it back on this thing. It's gonna be pushed up against the building, so there's no need to have anything you know behind it. Just wanted to have that top piece to add a little bit of extra rigidity to this assembly here, but that didn't take more than a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and get the other one knocked out.
Well, it's not perfect, it's not beautiful, but I think it'll do. You know, before I go any further with this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a, uh, a sheet metal screw and tie that bottom piece of metal to the top of the uh, firewood racks. Now, eventually when we go to use that piece of metal, and no telling how long it takes us for us to get to that point, but one of these days we will use it, we'll have to take that screw out. But in the meantime, it'll really lock in the top of these things to prevent more of that, you know, bracketing falling down <laughs> thing that could happen. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do that before I get too much further along. And that screw right there was already in that sheet, so look at me, I saved the dime. I think the one thing that would have worked out better would have been being able to reuse some of the existing screw holes, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do that. All right, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Minimal bloodshed, uh, wear gloves when you're working with metal. Like, I thought I could get away with it. I don't know why I thought that. Little uh, slice my finger, don't worry. I'm up to date on my tetanus shot and I don't believe stitches are gonna be required. So, uh, stupid me, don't be like me. Wear gloves, wear gloves all the time when you're working with metal like this. I do think I'm gonna come in with, uh, I don't know if I'll use duct tape. I don't know what I'm gonna use. Something to kind of cover up these rough uh, exposed corners like that. My kids are not quite tall enough or they'll you know, slice their faces open when they run around here at full speed. But we don't even wanna have to worry at all about that. So I'm gonna cover that up with something. But just to have this up off the ground, I'm really happy with how this, you know, how this went. I'm just about out of daylight tonight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. There's a few things that I wanna work on and try to knock out. And I need your opinion on something. We're gonna talk about it. Reagan, on a scale of one to ten, how much do you dislike privet? Eleven. I can't stand this stuff. This is it just grows everywhere. It's the worst, and I don't like it. So the more I can get rid of this, the better.
I can't believe that worked. The breaker bar is putting too much torque on the tire. Uh, I was not expecting that little thing to actually bust that, bust through that. Huh. It's pretty incredible when something actually works like, you know, better than you expect. I'll be dead. When Megan and I first bought this property, we found this trailer. Uh, I don't know if it's a boat trailer or what it was used for, but we found it buried in the woods. I think whoever had it before had kind of given up on it, but looking it over, I think it's in pretty decent shape. The tires uh, probably need to be replaced. But beyond that, it looks to be like structurally sound. So I think what we're gonna do with it, we've been kicking around a few different ideas. I think we've kind of settled in on, we're going to turn it into a goat trailer. Um, now that we have a Nubian, we can't just load the Nubian goat and throw her into the back of the SUV to take her back and forth from the vet uh, when, you know, in, in the event something like that needs to happen. So I think with some work, eventually that thing is going to become maybe a little goat hauling trailer. But what I'm thinking, while I'm talking about making stuff and working on projects, this and that, this tractor, you can see, uh, you saw how I used a ratchet strap to hold that drawbar up in the right position. I've been fighting with that hydraulic pump. I've been fighting with the idea of the hydraulic pump and the lift and everything in that for a while. I haven't been fighting with it too much because I haven't been working on it. And part of my hang up with that, how, I don't know how I want to film that because I've got to record it. Everything I do, if we're trying, if we're going to have content, here's a little inside baseball. If you're going to have content, I've always been told just record everything and you'll figure out what to do from there. That pump is hard to do because I'm trying to figure it out while recording it. And I'm not sure how it's going to play out for you, who, you know, watching this. See, when I first started this channel, I kind of had in my mind this would be a lot of how-to and, you know, here's how you do this or here's what we're doing today. And it's, it's turned into a lot of vlog type things. And I love doing the vlog type stuff. But what I want to know is, are you interested in seeing how to work on a tractor or here's how to do this or that because i think you know for searchability and you know all this analytic type stuff that i worry about as a content creator i think i need to have some of that on the channel but it's kind of hard to figure out because you're watching this video right now i don't want to leave you out by making something different so if you're interested you know we've done videos on how to work on the truck you know my, my truck in the past and how we you know how to do the tractor how do you want to see it and please leave a comment down below because I really I really want to know your opinion. Do you want to see how to do, you know, detail step-by-step -step things on this particular tractor? Or do you want to see maybe just a fly on the wall perspective as you go through the project with me? I, I want to know your opinion on how this, you know, how you would like to see it. There's always plenty of stuff to figure out here in the homestead and when you throw a camera into the mix, it, it makes things difficult because there's a lot that goes into it beyond just uh, turn it on and, and start doing stuff. There's a lot of thinking and trying to plan and all these different things. So I, I appreciate your input. I'm asking for it. If you don't mind, let me know. In the meantime, though, I'm going to try to get the bead reset on this tire. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything with that or not, but it would help me at least move that trailer around here instead of... Uh, you know, just living in a pile of stuff and having everything grow up around it because that is where this trailer was has got to be tamed. This is a nightmare back in that direction, pointing to it off camera. Uh, I got to get all that cleaned up. Being able to move that trailer around would be helpful. And before we turn it into a goat hauler, which that's down the road at some point, we're going to use it to store fence posts on because I have a lot of fencing work that needs to be done. And right now they're just in a pile. So being able to move those back and forth, either with the tractor, with the truck, something like that. We'll figure it out, but I'm going to see what I can do with that. <laughs> I hear thunder off in the distance. We might actually get some rain. This tire, uh, I didn't have to do anything to it. it. It was already, you know, still in the bead. Did not fill it up all the way because this thing is dry rotted to all get out. So, uh, yeah, it's going to hold air. I, the other one, I can't spend too much time fiddling with it today because I've got some other stuff that I've got to get done before it gets too late in the evening. Uh, so we're just we're not going to worry about the other side what i am going to do what i am going to go ahead and do tonight once i get this back on here i want to go ahead and get these posts that are over here behind me and get them put on here uh it will make it a little bit more difficult um having weight on here and then having to fix that other side eventually but i i don't really care i just want to get them up out of the yard uh, i feel like snakes or something are going to move in there so we're going to go ahead and get that knocked out
Well, the kids have already moved in and made this little assembly their new clubhouse. Safety is the number one priority, of course. Here's how we took care of that sharp corner. It is not perfect, but it's much better than what it was before. Nothing a little duct tape can't handle, right? So. I appreciate you guys coming along with me this weekend as we just try and get some stuff done around here. We do have some exciting things coming up. We still owe you a goat kidding season recap, so be uh, sure to stay tuned for that. we got all kinds of exciting new stuff coming along soon, and I really just appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching the GWP Homestead. My name's Reagan. We'll see you all soon.